Hello, this is Jim McGrew, and um, I'm going to make an effort to do a video on how to unwrap a .stl model in Aspire 3 and prepare it for rotational um, app, rotational machining. I'm going to open Aspire 3 and go directly to Gadgets and choose Wrapping. Once there, I'm going to come down and choose Wrapped Job Setup. Now, I've chosen a cylinder of 12 inches and a cylinder diameter of 3.5. That's my wood that will be on my rotational machine. Um, and once I've done that, I'm going to choose wrapping uh, my X values in my Y axis. Um, but this is because I have a cam master and my rotational machine runs parallel to my Y or long axis. Um, I'm going to choose to set my Z on my cylinder axis bottom and I'm going to choose simple cylindrical wrap. This is going to give me a uh, working area of 12 inches tall and uh, a width along X of uh, 3.5 times pi which is 10.9956. Uh, once I've done this I'm going to go directly to modeling and choose my STL file. In this case I'm going to show you with the King, uh, one of my favorites and one you've seen before. Um, I choose the King and at this point one of the things I'm going to do is prepare it uh, before I import it. I'm going to flip the king over on the bottom which will expose the king to the back. The reason I do this is later on I want my uh, machining to stop and begin along the back where I'll have less sanding and detail issues instead of having it on the face. Um, once I've done this I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees which is again how we work with it on a cam master uh, type machine. Um, once I've done this, I'm going to set my Z at 3.5 inches. Z has to be the dominant number, and one of these two numbers has to be uh, equal to or less than um, in order to have a good machine. That's because my Y axis is my long axis. My model will be 10.418 inches tall when I'm completed. Once I've done this, I'm going to accept that and then import it and it will stop me and ask me do I want to unwrap the model before creating the component. If I say no, um, I've never done that. I don't know what it's going to do, but yes is my answer. And it's going to unwrap my model and place it on my working area. And you can see that now I've got all of the area that I wish to have lots of detail on on the face. At this point, if I want to simply view it in the round, uh, the beauty of Aspire 3 is it now allows me to do the, the beautiful process of what you see is what you get. I can choose toolpath drawing and come down and again I'm going to wrap my X values around my Y axis which is the long axis on my machine and again I have now created a full 3D view of what I'm going to rotate on my machine. Now in order to prepare it for rotational machining Maybe we'll do that in another video. Thank you for watching. How about make some comments and I'll see what I can do about making some more.